it's happening i tell you exactly what's happening welcome back to another viking views video this features my t6 transporter my t32 highline spec it's a good old girl tap test you know as we usually do um so i've had the van 19 months now and to be fair it stayed pretty much as it has left the factory aside from getting waxed up when i ordered it all the spec was put on the inside where i sit where i see what i touch what i feel the outside pretty much stays as the same now previous to this i had a t6 panel and done a few bits to it including the sidebars now these weren't on there why when i sold the other van didn't i take them off i don't know so i've put some oem sidebars on it i love tap testing stuff you know that's my thing put some wind deflectors on there but i thought i'd do a little bit of a video just to see i'm gonna start spending some money on it you know i thought why not yes a work vehicle for me but i've got big plans i want to get you guys involved in the plans and i want you to, well do you know am i right in what i'm saying what i want to do or if not if you think i can do it better give me your opinion maybe we'll work with that maybe we'll get some polls and votes going on you know what i'm saying right so front on that's where i think you're going to notice the few things avoid the flies right as well it was spotless yesterday but it was a lovely evening here in south wales so coast last night i've picked up all the flies on the way home but i think this is where you're going to see the most change for me anyway personally right front plate i've almost gone on and ordered press plate about 10 times i'm not even joking i thought you know what my personal car has a private registration why not my work vehicle so i've been mean, you know there's a few number plates factoring around can't quite decide which one i want yet but there's going to be some press plates on there anyway 3d gel ones i love i think they look clean as well and the short plates i love depending on how many letters characters you got but the 4d plates pervy don't like it. it's not my style but anyway back to the lower bumper i'm feeling the sportline front end that square bumper i know there's different things on the market like the ab kit etc or abt as many people say in the uk but to me it, it looks like how can i say without sounding rude so it looks like a knockoff sportline i don't know if it's just because i've got in my head i want a sportline kit that's what i'm going with so pick on screen now you can see exactly what it looks like grill wise I want to go gloss black with it if the van was different colors i could have play about with more stuff because back to the ab stuff they turn that to a red strip but obviously it's too much red going on with the van being red so nice gloss black grill on it black badges i think it'll contrast lovely and lights i'll be honest with you right volkswagen these lights are absolutely pathetic there's no other word for it a pathetic you're up here you're driving you get nothing you get like a little yellow glow you miss everything that's going on um obviously the van before exactly the same now to me i wanted xenons or the leds factory leds but to order those when i had this van it was an eight or nine month wait to actually build the van so what i'd done went into sinclair volkswagen with my boy um shout out bob Watkins. probably watches um i know he watches actually and i was like right what can you get me on the dealer web what can you grab with a spec it's got to be dsg it's got to have nav it's got to have heated seats all this stuff and here we go this is what i ended up with so i wouldn't mind a set of factory led xenons but i know like transport hq etc do some nice aftermarket ones as well with the driving running lights on them so i'm thinking i'm gravitating towards a set of those but aside from the front on that's what i'm thinking so wheels that's another thing i want to get done So being the Highline, also being the T32, comes with a 17 inch Davenport, but to me, they don't quite cut it. I know they're better than the 16 inch standard Highline wheel, but for me again, it's a Sportline wheel. Yes, I've looked at Rolls Royce Phantom wheels, I've looked at Bentley wheels, it all looks sick. It looks sick if you slam it. I can't slam it because I use it as a van. I go places with it like this, so I need to be similar sort of height, and I do put weight in it. So I'm thinking the Sportline wheels are the best. So I'm gonna give you a vote now. Black Sportline wheels, or like the silver polished lip sportland wheels that's your choice right so that's your vote below but that's what i want to do roof bars another thing i'm going to add up on there some nice black oem or oem style even as well they're going to get up on there quick note as well that wheel it's not my wheel that's the thing about the vikings we get to use our surroundings the universe just guides a path and you know we just use everything just to bring you a better production you know what i'm saying so round back it's still pretty much standard aside from the hay burner sticker with the foosh wheel shout out to hay burner needs no introduction everyone knows big massive of the volkswagen air cool scene so big love but around back that's all i really want to do again the theme of the day is sportline i want to put a sportline spoiler up on there so i think that will add a little bit to it do you know what some of the ab kits at the back do actually look pretty cool and you've seen them with the, the double exhaust each side as well the four exhausts on it with a little speaker and making that like v8 diesel sort of sound but to be honest with you 
not my style. So I think the only thing on the back, aside from a press plate, black badge, spoiler, and I think it's done. The rest of the stuff then, my plans are, on the inside. You know what I'm saying? So, standard under the tailgate, which I do love, because I'm set up six foot, the height is there, not a problem. What I love as well, for my use of business, when I'm unloading a van on a cold winter's morning, it's raining, I can put the stuff on here, it's dry. But anyway, inside. So literally, in my opinion, right, with the transporter, it starts off amazing, very good, good. Towards the back, gets a bit poor. And that's not, you know, that's just how I think it is anyway, because it just comes with these wooden trims on a side that I think it's, you know, it's a 40 or grand van at the end of the day, isn't it? For me, I think I'd love to have like the Alcantara carpet right out, headlining done, sides done. 6.9s either side, because there's no speakers in the back, literally the front, this, you know, sound does travel, it's all right, it's not, you know, I've been in vehicles with just speakers in the front, awful. This, it's all right. And um, I want to get a sub mounted. I want to put a nice little 12 inch sub, or even a 10 inch, under that seat, under the passenger front seat, increase the sound quality, because I do love bass, I'll be honest with you. So that'll be a nice little feature. Also, excuse me, let's just add some old enamel signs in here. That's what I do, vintage toy dealer, vintage antique dealer, picture on screen. So. It is a working vehicle. So midsection of the van, you know, it's the very good section of the van. One thing I wish it did have was a bulkhead, because I know you can get them from the factory and you'll probably get an aftermarket one as well. But having the bulkhead behind the seat, just to have that bit of sound deadening, but then with that carpet, etc., is it gonna do the difference? Of course, you've got these awesome little side windows as well in there, haven't you? So, inside the van is a nice place to be. Van life, bro, you know what I'm saying? Captain's chairs, they're comfortable. Armrests each side, and I can tell you I've sat on like 10 hour round trips in this van, no problem whatsoever. But the nice stuff is on the inside. All the spec is on the inside. It's got the comfort dash, which makes an absolute difference in you. You know, there's some negative drawbacks to that, i.e. you lose a cup holders up there, and then now down here on the slot you pull out, which can interfere with the passenger's leg. Um, the 12 volt, plug in cigarette lighter as well you know where you had one up on the top up here in a non-comfort dash it's now down here and you've got to open the slot to put it in <laughs> and uh, it just shows all your coins etc um nav that's another feature not many of them have i know they come with apple play anyway but i'm old school i like a proper sat nav unit so that's a nice upgrade in you carpet in the cab as well again that's not one you always get the rubber flooring right through so that's pretty nice so sat nav comfort dash heated seats that's the main differences on this van that I absolutely love. And of course, the DSG, because automatic is what? Two, two and a half grand extra always, just for that seven speed DSG box. But it's a difference. It is so comfy. Just let it go, cruise control, all the creature comforts. I don't need to chat about them because they're in most of the vehicles, but that's a little bit of the inside. That's a very vivacious Viking Views video. It's happening. So as this one draws to an end, what do you think of my van? Do you like it? Would you drive it yourself? And what do you think of my plans? I'd literally love all you guys to get involved. You know, do you agree with what I want to do? Would you do things different? If so, what would you do? Drop it in the comments below. Also, thank you for everyone that's bought us a cup of coffee. Me and the man both appreciate it. You know, if you're wondering what a coffee is, link in the description below and you can go over and have a look. But until next time, big love for me and the other bearded one. We're done. Boosh. Romeo done.